welcome back everybody glad you're here um i love this job that i signed up for <laughs> i call it a job but i love it so it can't be a job right but i love getting comments uh reactions from you guys to my reactions but most importantly i love getting recommendations and links that you guys send me to check out new music that i've never heard before it's rare when i get it from family members and my nephew was over the other day and he was like oh you found dan vask and I was like, yeah, you know Dan Vasquez? He goes, yeah, I found Dan Vasquez like a while ago through Peyton Parrish. And I'm like, who's Peyton Parrish? He goes, you've never heard of Peyton Parrish? I go, no, I've never heard of Peyton Parrish. He goes, please pay Peyton Parrish. And I'm like, please stop being so alliterative. <laughs> He's like, no, no, you have to check out Let It Go. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, he does metal covers of Disney songs. And you have to listen to them. I'm like, Let It Go from like Frozen? He goes, yeah, it's Disney. He does metal covers of Disney. Okay, this is what I signed up for. So apparently this guy's pretty popular. He has over 900,000 subscribers. Uh, this video has over a million views in two months. And uh, we're going to check it out. So this is Peyton Parrish rock version of Let It Go from Frozen. Here we go. Wow, like a full video. The snow glows white on the mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. The kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in, even knows I tried. Guitar solo? No, not much. Okay, hold on. I, I gotta tell you, I've heard enough "Let It Go" in my life to like last me the rest of my life. But this is awesome, and his arrangement is really cool. I really thought when he went into that chorus, he was just gonna like blast us, and instead he like took it all the way back down, and then came back at us. Like that's pretty cool. And just his voice is really good, man. That's a good, that's a good rock voice for sure. So I'm digging it. Distance makes everything seem small. Here's the ones controlling me. Can't get to me at all. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break. Thank you. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. I got to tell you. Um, I love how he kept the original structure of that song, which is just so, when, when what's her name saying it, and I can't remember her name, but, you know, she's like operatically trained and had like that incredible voice when she when the song came, first came out that just floored everybody. Won an Oscar and everything else. I, I remember hearing it the first time, the lyrics in it, you know, using like f- language like fractals and, and just using all this language that you don't usually hear in like a Disney movie. And just somehow that song was just pure magic when it came out. Heard enough of it, though. Heard it every time you turn around. Everybody did a cover of it. So when he does a cover of it and I hear there's going to be a metal version of it, I'm like, OK, so probably going to be like, yeah, we don't want it to be like this dainty operatic thing. We want it to be metal. And it's going to come out. It's going to be guard. He didn't do that. Like his, his voice is very tone rich, stays very clear and actually complements the ver- the original version because he doesn't let it go off the rails. He keeps it very tightly in control, but he still puts that metal force in there. Still gets like the electric guitar. He has a solo in there, man. Really need like a 30 second solo or something in there. <laughs> but Man, yeah, he's good. I'm going to have to listen to more of him. I noticed when I brought up his channel, because I had to search for him by his name, I pulled up his channel. Like He does like a lot of Viking stuff, apparently. Um, I saw he did a cover of uh, Valhalla Calling, which I, which I did a reaction to an acapella version of that. That's like a one that's going around lately. And, and, he, has a, and he does uh, God of War, which when I clicked on his channel, this video start playing it was a cover of god of war from the game god of war sounded really good so i was kind of like okay so he's gonna be like hard and hard at this and he didn't like he he's got a fantastically like really crisp really clear voice and has the uh maturity and wisdom to like keep it under control and not let it get out of hand they really pay a lot of attention to the structure and the arrangement of that song so that they, yeah, they're doing a metal version, but it's not going crazy and just getting ridiculous, which is, which is something that can easily be done, which I've seen happen to other people that, that do hard rock or metal versions of Disney songs. And they just want to go like the complete opposite way of it. And it's like, mm, okay, great metal, you know, good metal version, but wasn't great. This was great. That was really cool. I, I can listen to that again. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, Eric, nephew. Good job. You hit one. <laughs> but what do you guys think? That's what I really want to know. Do me a favor and hit a thumbs up if you would. And uh, subscribe if you have not already because we're always looking for music you've never heard before. You never know what we're going to run across on this channel. But uh, share this with all your friends and with complete strangers. Check out this other stuff I have over here. Uh, Because we're always trying to find new music and uh, react to it. And most importantly, most importantly, please drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. And if you have other videos you'd like me to point to, uh, you would like to point me to so I can react to that, I'd love to see it. In the meantime, y'all guys, be good. Be safe out there. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.